Hey guys, Guru Bob Heineman here at Seattle Integrated Martial Arts. Um, just wanted to shoot a video here today, um, not really going over any techniques or anything, but just kind of talking more about the mindset of, of martial arts or of a martial artist. Um, you know, basically since I've been doing this, I've been in, the, in this style of martial arts for uh, coming up on 20 years and working uh, in a martial arts school. I worked for uh, uh, Sifu Andy Wilson at MKG and now I've been running my own school for uh, just over 10 years now. And uh, what I've noticed over the years is that, um, you know, primarily what people get into martial arts for are two main things, self-defense and fitness. Those are kind of the easy, uh, what we might call the low-hanging fruit, right? Everyone, most people anyways, I would say that start martial arts, you know, they want to they work out, they want to do something that's more fun than running on a treadmill, uh, and they like the idea of being, being able to defend themselves. And those are absolutely two uh, huge benefits to what we do. But what I often say is that um, that might pull people in, but that's not what they stick around for. Um, there's a way more deep, there's a deeper, I should say, um, uh, content to what we do here, a deeper connection to what we do. Um, so one of those things is the, the idea of humility, right? And humility not, not meaning like feeling bad about yourself, but more like having a realistic uh, approach or realistic vision of where you're at and and where you uh, uh, sit in the world of martial arts. Some people um, will have this concept of what a real martial artist and what a real martial artist is, and I think that's a slippery slope because uh, you know I, I often hear that from say competitive uh, martial artists, guys that fight uh, full contact, you know, in, in the cage or the ring or whatever, but. If you were to present that idea to say someone who's fighting in a battlefield for their life um, or people that uh, where a lot of martial arts originated were for family to family to survive, right? Uh, they might question your concept of what real martial arts is then because they're talking about survival, about life and death. You're talking about winning an event. So uh, my opinion is that someone that trains martial arts, whether it's twice a week just to you know, train something new for their body to kind of get, you know, learn, learn a new thing, be part of a community, exchange ideas with people better themselves. That's a real martial artist to me. And that links, in my opinion, to what humility is because you have to learn uh, a, a, and accept a certain part of what you really are. It doesn't mean you limit yourself, but it also means that, you know, you accept, hey, this is where I'm at with martial arts. I enjoy doing this aspect of it. Maybe you want to do a little competition here or there, or maybe you know, um, you know, you want to just uh, uh, hit the pads or something like that, just to just to have the feeling. But I, I would be really careful with distinguishing what a real martial artist is uh, versus someone who's not a real martial artist. Someone that takes the time to develop themselves and and get into the discipline and and better themselves through martial arts. In my opinion, is a real martial artist. Um, doesn't mean that they fit into every single school out there, or every single you know, style. Some people are training specifically for fights. Some schools are like that. Some schools are, you know, you got all the way up to military training. So um, that to me is one of the biggest benefits to stepping into a martial arts school is you're confronted with a lot of, of these ideas of yourself that you're gonna have to unravel, that you're gonna have to work through whether they're inflated or whether they're deflated, whether you, you, know, you have a, a low self-esteem about something. At least the way I like to approach things is that we want to build everybody up to their highest potential, whatever that might be. Um, and then if they need to you know, move on to, a, if they're really high potential and they need to go train at a higher level, awesome. But we want to be a school that allows people uh, that level of self-discovery. And so that to me is one of, the, uh, one of the main benefits to jumping into martial arts. So I strongly suggest if you're out there thinking about it, obviously our school, uh, we'd love to have you, but look into it. Try to find a school that, that suits you, that fits your, you know, what you want to do and that kind of fits your vibe, so to speak. You know, if you're, again, if you need to compete and go hard, maybe you need a school that that's what their focus is. But if you want to maybe learn at a slower, uh, you know, progress at a slower rate or you want to, uh, you know, take your time with it in a certain way or whatever, uh, just saying that, go to the school, find out what they're doing, talk to the instructors, get a feel for the environment and uh, 
check it out. I think it's one of the best moves you can make uh, if you're thinking about it. I know a lot of people that are, have been th I, t I waited 10 years before I stepped in to uh, re-sign up for martial arts. So don't wait too long. Give it a shot, guys. Anyways, thanks for listening, uh, and we'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care.